Hey, what's going on, everybody? Christopher here, back with yet another video. Thank you for watching this content. The only thing I ask and appreciate is that y'all like these videos. So I'm not gonna waste too much time on this. I didn't even prepare for it. It was just a thought in my head. I turned the camera on and here we go. I'm not trying to disregard anybody's feelings or their mindset or their decisions on life, but I really think that if you feel like it's time for you to leave the place you live in for a better place, you need to take action right now. And that goes for anybody in any place. If your desire is to be somewhere else, it's time to take action. Now, even though that statement is directed at anybody in any country, I am gonna speak specifically about the US right now in this video about what I'm talking about. So just be forewarned of that. So the whole reason I'm even on what I'm on right now stems from the last live stream I had. In that live stream this past Friday, in which if you're not a part of this channel or this community at all, let me encourage you to become a part of this channel, a part of this community, because we really do have a good time in our live streams. But in this past live stream I had, I was talking about the issues that the US is having with uh, gun violence and just people falling apart and just everything just looking like it's, it's falling apart from where I stand. And even though the conversation was vocalized by myself, I did get to see a bunch of opinions of the people who were a part of the stream. I saw what they were writing in the chat. And it seems like a lot of people kind of understand where I'm coming from on this, and a lot of people feel the same way. And that goes for people that are actually in the States and people who have breaking away and going to other places. So that's why, in my opinion, I feel like if it's time for you to leave, specifically the US in this case, do it now. It, this is the moment. I don't see the point in wasting any more time anymore. And I don't even want to tap dance around this. I mean, I'm not putting the US down like the people because I know the bulk of people there want something better and they're just in a position that they can't change, whether it be at the moment or, or ever, to be honest. But I do just want to say, man, the country's falling the fuck apart. I mean, how else do you say it? From the outside looking in, all I see is turmoil and sadness. People are hurting and nobody knows why. And it doesn't even look like anybody wants to find out why. It just looks like people want to remedy things without knowing the cause, without knowing the origin from which said thing could possibly be coming from in order to prevent it happening again. Let's say you had a leak coming from under your sink, right? And it's getting water all over your kitchen floor. To me, the problems in the US are like, like people keep trying to come up with new kinds of soak pads to put on the floor to collect the water. It's like, oh, we need better soak pads. We have the Soak Pad 2000. We have the Soak Pad Super. And everybody's just putting their own soak pads on the floor trying to collect the water instead of finding out where the water is actually coming from to prevent such a thing happening again. That's a very loose comparison, but like I said, I didn't prepare for this video, so that's the best I'm gonna come up with right now on the fly. Now understand. Now, understandably, I know some people might look at me and look at this video and be like, bro, everybody just can't pick up and go, though. And I get that. I really do. But I know there are a lot of people who are planning to leave that are just kind of stalling or hesitating for whatever reasons. I, it's not for me to judge, but for whatever reasons, they're just hesitating on doing so. So for those people, here's this video to kind of help them along. So to me, it comes down to like three things that can kind of give that person that nudge to kind of let them know that, you know what? this is the right thing for you, go ahead and do it. Now, I know that there could be more, but I can think of at least three things right now that could be your nudge to push you in the right direction to make that move. The first thing is if you have an insane desire to see something different. There's a video I made a few videos back that talked about how ever since I was like a teenager, I just longed to see more than what I was seeing. When I lived in the States, I just felt trapped. My neighborhood was all I saw until I went to school. That's the reason I like being at school because I went to school far away from where I live and the neighborhoods around there were just like a far cry from what I, I lived in. So I had this just crazy thirst for more. I knew I wanted to see more. So by the time I hit adulthood, I was already in the running searching for my opportunity to break away. I needed to see more. If you fall into this category, my friend, it's your time. Second category I can think of for someone who may need that little nudge is if you are having money problems. Hear me out now. I'm not saying that leaving and going somewhere else will solve your money problems. I'm not even saying that leaving and going somewhere else will cause you to have no problems at all. You know, it's often said that just because you leave, you don't get rid of your problems. You just 
get a whole new set of them. So obviously keep that in mind. But generally speaking, if it is a hardcore struggle to keep finances because of how prices are being raised, how expensive things are becoming, because of how taxes are, anything of that regard, especially if you're in a situation that's causing you to maybe have to move from the place you are and you're looking for another place to move to. If you're in these kind of financial circle messes, why not try your hands somewhere else, especially if it's a dream of yours? Why not try living out that dream you gotta move anyway you're trying something different with your money anyway you might as well give it a shot so the second category is if you're having these kind of general weird money problems my friend it's your time and this last thing this third thing i know is a sensitive one and it's something that should touch home to almost everybody especially if you live in the states because something terrible just happened in the states in texas and involves young children and firearms we don't need to go into any details y'all know what i'm talking about but if you fall into this third category where you're tired of looking over your shoulder you're tired of a society that just can't seem to let go of firearms you're tired of wondering if your kids are going to make it home after school. You're tired of wondering if you're going to randomly be attacked on the subway. You fear for your life all the time. You don't think you live in a good neighborhood. People are breaking into your car. If you fall into this within any manner of that and you're fed up with that, my friend, it's your time. And, I'm, and I'll be honest with you guys, man, at this point, I'm not even trying to promote Germany as the place y'all need to make the decision to go to. At this point, people just need to find their happy wherever it's at. I don't think you'll be disappointed if you decided to move to Germany, but that's not even what I'm trying to promote in this particular video. The options need to open up for people because people just need to know that there is somewhere else. And I know not everybody would even gravitate towards a country like Germany, just like not everybody would gravitate towards Japan or Mexico or anywhere else. When it comes to where you'll find your happiness, that's for you to decide. I just think right now it's just time to make that decision. Speaking specifically on the United States, but definitely not putting down U.S. citizens. I'm not talking about the citizens. I'm just speaking on the country. I'm not here to just try to throw mud on the U.S. or try to seem holier than thou. I just want people to know that you don't have to settle. You don't have to live the way you live if you don't like the way you live. You have options and there's things that you can do. And if moving out of the U.S. is something you want to try your hand at, my friend, it's your time.